Dave Grohl pulled me in a pool like with my clothes on. My passport was in uh, my pants and like it almost ended up like destroying my passport and everyone's like, that didn't happen. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it did. Hi, I'm Jaden. I'm with Seventeen and this is Seventeen Questions. I am an incredible whistler. I bet you can't do that. Watch me like be a sub average whistler after people like watch it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> think about what you're doing before you do it. Just think more, man. And in one side, it's like everything I did got me here, you know? But at the other side, everything I did also brought me the PTSD and like traumatic experiences that I suffer through every night when I lay alone. So, <laughs> definitely my tattoos. I love them so much. Every time I get a new one, I'm really trying to cover myself. My upper portion of my body, like my arms and like my chest are like pretty covered. But I've done this thing where I've gotten a bunch of individual tattoos. So I guess you could count them, probably like 100 something. I'll never regret being kind to people. I'll never regret taking care of my mom. I'll never regret leaving where I came from. I always laugh when I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Every single time. I always am in the way of everything. I never liked to be alone, but now I do. I didn't realize that you're never really living your own life in, until you're like with yourself. You're living like someone else's life as well every time you're around someone, which can be great, but it's important as you grow up to learn how to be with yourself. Have I ever been starstruck with who? Oh, actually, okay, no, this was, this was crazy. When we were in Paraguay, and MGK's camp and the family management we were with, we were all traveling together. And uh, we ended up getting to go see the Foo Fighters um, one night uh, because the festival got canceled. Uh, we got to spend the night with Dave Grohl and uh, he literally pulled me into the pool like with my clothes on. And like my passport was in uh, my pants and like it almost ended up like destroying my passport. And like, it's the coolest. Everyone's like, what happened to your passport? And I'm like, Dave Grohl, pulled me in a pool, so, and everyone's like, that didn't happen. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it did. Um, it was and always will be Juice World. I um, mean, he's the reason I started making music, so if I was ever able to be and release like a song with him, that would be crazy. The person that I will want to have the, the feature the most, I haven't realized yet, if that makes sense. Life changes really fast. Uh, you could ask me the same question in five minutes, I'd give you a different answer, but for right now, nobody. I think it's open. This really weird dynamic of hating yourself and believing in yourself more than anyone, you know, cause you kind of have to like, you know, kill the part of yourself that you, you don't like and like bring up the healthy and like positive parts to be like the leader you need to be, you know, and be the artist that you want to be and leave the impact. But at the same time, you, you can feel the pressure mentally you, and you don't always know where it comes from. At the same time, it's the biggest blessing in the world. All of the music that no one's heard is the music that I've had the most fun making. Um, in this past year, I haven't released anything except for a project for my best friend who passed away. And so that project and all the music that I've been working on and that's been coming out of me in the past couple months are really like my favorite things I've ever made in my life. And I'm really excited for people to hear it. I think it's gonna change everything. <laughs> I think where I live right now, Genuinely, I've started to go see a bunch of the world, but I've noticed that it takes a long time for me to feel like I'm at home And I finally feel like I'm at home in Los Angeles and I definitely don't like everything about it But you know that that's you'll find that anywhere. You know what I mean? You can't escape reality. My favorite thing about LA is the scenery I love the geography of California in general like we can go to the beach you can go to the mountains I don't know. It's just like this Cali lifestyle. You know, I think that's sick something I hate about LA is uh, the parking I've never hated anything more in my entire life. There's no point to build 800 buildings separated from each other with no parking. It makes no sense. I don't go places because I'm like, I just don't want to like pay $150 for an Uber and then I don't want to drive and have nowhere to park and then get a parking ticket. It's stupid. Fix it. What music am I listening to on repeat right now? The Deftones. Oh my gosh, I can't stop listening to them. It's absolutely ridiculous. Sex Tape is my favorite song by them. They just have, the, their discography is ridiculous. They have so many albums and like, they all are so cohesive to like who they are as like a band, you know? And I don't know, music speaks to me. I was, I heard Be Quiet and Drive Far Away uh, for the first time. And it's so funny because I'm always like, Deptones are so sick. And everyone's like, yeah, we know. 
but no one i feel like i've no one's ever come up to me and talked about it and I, I i can't stop talking about it like they're so sick it's all i play at my house i feel like my career has just been highlights i think all the moments that people don't see like when we're in the green rooms with kels or i'm in the studio with trav those are the moments that are my highlights because i live in a highlight you know it's a good question i really don't do anything it's really it's really odd as i've gone into this career, uh, this past two years, I started, my first performance was last year, and like this whole last year has been a plethora of shows, we did almost 100. I took it so casually because I was just so happy to be there. You know, I didn't, ha I didn't care if things went wrong or anything like that. Now, at the point that I'm at, that I care so much and I'm, I'm putting my own time and money into like my craft and like my touring, uh, I care about everything now. At this point, I am trying to find things that really resonate with me and get me excited. I love listening to like music that I love before I go and play my own music. <laughs> and also, I have to see my fans at least once before I go on stage. Like I gotta go, go see some of them at least. It gets me really, really pumped up because they're the reason I'm doing it. You're so incredibly unique, just like myself. It's so weird. I feel like we're all so similar. And at the same time, I feel like there's no one that couldn't be a fan of my music because of the way I, I view music. Like Juice World saved my life because he was just vulnerable and he said that and he made it fun for all these kids to listen to and I realized that in one moment. I would just say continue to keep being you because the more you are you, the more I am me. I'd say gentle, like I'm a lot more gentle than people think or like what's the word? Tender. I'd say like tender is like a good word. Or like $300 steak isn't like weak, you know, it's like a tender steak, you know, that's how it's supposed to be and I've always felt weak but that's not it, like I'm just tender. I'd say at the same time, but also extremely solid. At the same time, I'm gonna stand firm in whatever I think. Like I just care about people so much. Like compassionate is also another word. Whenever I am in the moments where I know who I am and I'm able to treat people with love, that's why like I continue to succeed. You know, nothing else really matters. Like hygiene is like a really cool thing. Like I used to, I was just like messy, like lived with all guys, like didn't really care. I finally got my own place and starting to realize like it just feels good to have a clean place you know your mind feels a lot uh, cleaner when your place is cleaner it's weird on the self-care aspect going to therapy is like a really good thing to do I hate therapy so trust me I get it but I know that it's good to have that mental wall broken down of just going to do something that I don't want to do because I know that it could help me you know I think that's a great thing to do something that I've said for a long time that I've stopped saying recently but I'm glad that you asked that question because I'm gonna start saying it again love leads to change and that's a fact People try to change people all the time with like hate and judgment and all that does is do the opposite, you know? True change comes from just loving people. Thank you, 17, for having me. Thank you for asking 17 questions and I hope I gave 17 answers.